Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Chef Tony featuring for the first time, sous chef Brandon, brought to you by Level Unlocked. Today, we are making the most goaded nachos. So we're starting off making the taco this is, spice this blend. Is we're on air, we're on air. We're on air. So this is official. We're combining all the spices, chili powder, so what are we starting through the with? cayenne, in a small bowl. Very simple. I think it's important to the note that you are the head chef and I'm the sous chef. You yeah, so I mean? right now I'm gonna task you with, uh, so actually, how about you do all the seasonings? No way. <laughs> all right, we've got two tablespoons chili powder. Oh, one and one half teaspoons kosher salt. I'm just gonna go one teaspoon. That's good enough, yeah, what does it say? Half a teaspoon, it says one and a half teaspoons. You can throw a little more in there. No. We have one <laughs> teaspoon of garlic powder and one mind. teaspoon of onion powder, so pretty basic spices, man. Obviously, me in the kitchen all the time, I know these spices like the back of my hand. So you're, you're, you're knowledgeable in this, uh, in this realm. Of course. It's already starting. And garlic powder is also a goat seasoning. It actually is. We have one half teaspoon dried we're oregano. Going, we're just going with the most default answer. Do we have dried oregano? Oh, we do, dried oregano. Okay, one half teaspoon of this. Then they one four teaspoon kind of black pepper. That's not enough. I fell down. <laughs> Your mic what is fell? that? Right, is that a mic? That is definitely a mic. That is hey definitely a mic. Blame it on Meathead. You guys heard it. Audience, blame it on Meathead. Finally, pepper. Have you ever cooked before or no? Actually, yeah, a little bit. But in the kitchen, when I was like younger. I'd, I'd always just like lurk. You know what I mean? I'm a dirty lurker. I'd smell <laughs> the food. You know what I mean? I'm like, what is going down down there? Uh, and then I'm, I'm a good observer. You know what I mean? I'm a visual learner. As long as you're able to absorb the knowledge. All right, so our seasoning, our seasoning blend is done. And now it's time to make the beef and bean topping. So all we do, ground beef is very simple. Vegetable oil in the pan. We're gonna do a very small amount, one half or one teaspoon of vegetable oil. We're gonna cook the ground beef, throw the seasoning in. Where's At the, the end, guy? we're gonna drain some of the meat. Uh, okay. Meat right here. Let me fire this baby up. Ah, it's an electric one. Okay, so we'll go medium high heat. We'll also preheat the oven because I'm pretty sure we're gonna to have to toast these nachos at 450 degrees. I think 350 is probably good to toast Just nachos. Yeah. <laughs> Where the hell is bake? Bake, 350, start, absolutely. There we go. It's preheating. I think so, yep. We have a teaspoon of uh, vegetable oil heating up right now. Ground beef, 80, 80 lean, 20 fat. We're not watching our I'm figure. More, I'm more if you were watching more, your figure, you would go like 93, guy. seven. I'm more of a 90, 10 guy, but you know what I mean? It's, it'll do, it'll suffice This is definitely the tastiest at all. And then, all right, let's just heat up. Let me make sure this is on. Oh, you gotta make sure it gets all over the pans in. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I Stirring around a little bit. Well, I mean. I'll do, I'll do this part. No. Really. Yeah, there you go. Well, you to know, be honest, this is. Involved. Just wanna make sure it's on. Oh, I have the wrong one on. Is this enough vegetable oil? I started the wrong one. Dish. Hold on. Give me one moment. There we are. Is this the right amount of oil? There we go. We might need a little more, Big Z. Well, no, because the, trust me, because the, the amount of juices in this, it's like, the oil is just, you want like a small, very small amount of coating for the pan. So it doesn't and then The amount of juices and, and fat that this is gonna render out, which we're gonna eventually drain before assembling our nachos is, is uh... The flavor is to die for. Right? Can you use a can opener? Absolutely not. You're, you can't? All right, I got it then. <laughs> so Brandon, can't use the can opener, Shotzi always. So right now we're zero for two. I'm not optic Texas but players. But to be fair, very similar. You know what I mean? We've, uh, we're both very- I figured it out though. Yeah, my, my hands are very fragile. You know what I mean? I'm at the end of my- They're a little more valuable than A little more end later, later half of my career is in. You know what I mean? So what's, how do you even use it? Like you just like, you get in like- All right, so hear me out. This is the can. Absolutely. This is what opens the can, these two. Yeah, but where do you like you clamp, aim it? You clamp this right here on the edge. Yeah. And then- as you spin this, it goes around in a circle, like a like a NASCAR race. Yeah. And it's just, look at that, now it's open. Here, throw this throw this beef in there, in that pan. Ooh, and then also- I mean, have to open it? Yeah, you gotta open it. Yeah, but like, do I have to break it apart? No, 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 we're gonna break it apart in the pan. So it's literally, you can like pour it out as a chunk. Then once you do that, uh, just pour that entire seasoning on top. And then- Wow, you're really trusting me with a lot here. As the meat cooks, you're just gonna break it. Trust me, it's so easy. If you can't master ground beef, we're so in a I lot of trouble. Like, I just dump it in right now. Is it even ready, the yep. pan? Yep, positive, trust. It's not that hot. I promise you're good. That's not hot at all. Definitely should have sizzled here. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely should have sizzled. 
But it's all right. It's ground beef. It's it's still gonna sear and be fine. Don't worry. It's still gonna it. sear. Perfect. So just let it. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I put your I put your knowledge to the test here. Searing is the key word I needed to hear. Okay. Get a little caramelization on it. Get a little crust on the edge. You just, know what I mean? Just wait a moment. Want don't, it to be moist inside, juicy. Don't start breaking it up yet. So when do we start flavoring this thing, Z? Once that heats up a little bit, and we hear a tiny bit of a sizzle. We're gonna pour all that seasoning on top of the meat. All of it. And then as yeah, that, that, all that seasoning is going in the meat. And then we have the we have the oven preheating, and then once once we get to the absolute, I think we're gonna wait till tomorrow till this thing starts to yeah. sizzle. So we have one teaspoon of vegetable oil heating in the pan with a beautiful pound of 80/20 ground beef. As soon as it starts cooking, we're gonna season this bad boy with this seasoning mixture. Start breaking up the meat, and then we'll start working. We'll start toasting the chips, and we'll keep it pushing. I'm hearing a little. You hearing that, Z? Hearing that, Z? What, it started starting to act, Starting to activate, Z. Yep. She's starting to get going. Yep, come on. Let's season the bastard. Season already. Trust me. All of it. Yep, all trust me. All the flavor is going to get in there. All the flavor, yeah. You want to season all the flavor. It's, 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 it's a big part. It's a, it's a big And uh, now, just start breaking that up. Piece of meat. Just already. Start, yep, positive. Let's get into it. You want to make sure, guys, that whenever you're breaking it apart like this, don't be afraid. You know what I mean? Get in there. Make sure to really break it apart. Spread the seasoning out. You know what I mean? Get all that flavor. You know what I mean? Get it all in there. I'm trying to think. Maybe we even up the heat a little bit. I feel like. I feel like I it's. I have it on medium high right now. I'm going to go like, high. It, it looks like we're freezing this thing. I'm going to go high and see. It's important to note too. Am I on Mars? Look at this. We only work in gourmet look, kitchens, guys. Look you know right here. Mean? Look right here. This what? says low to high, then it says low to high over here. But like, it, maybe it, it just took a lot of heat up. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's about to. It's about to get way hotter quick. So you keep mixing that up. We're gonna use one can of refried beans. If you're a bean lover and you love beans, you can use two cans, homemade, whatever you want to do. All the flavor. I'm starting to smell all that beautiful seasoning that we added before, Zen. And then it's we have this together. absolute. Monument of cheese coming up here soon. The star of the show. Absolutely. The big boy. Make sure to add a lot of that too. You know what I mean? I, so I think it's my favorite part with the nachos. Uh, uh, my dad. It's not even close. Honest question. What do you like more than cheese? Is there anything? Absolutely nothing. I mean, if anything, I would go with maybe a nice glass of milk. You know what I mean? Fry with some cookies. Yeah. Absolutely. You should have saw what I was doing when I was obese. So while he's dealing with the meat, pause. No, Daddy. I'm gonna head over here. I feel like this is definitely a good amount of nachos right here. We're just gonna toast the chips here in a bit for like just five minutes to get them warm before we add all of our toppings. So here, while well, Brandon salt, dude, you're doing a great job, man. Phenomenal no, 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 no. job. What can I say? We have the nachos up on the sheet pan. So do we want to, are we putting the meat in like the oven as well? Or is that just like no, a no. finish so like a topping it, at so the end? it's all gonna be a topping. So we're gonna, so this is gonna be cooked. Then we're gonna, just trust me, let me bring you through the process. But you're doing great over here, man. I can't, I can't tell you enough I'm how good you're say, doing. I'm a natural here, you know what I mean, Big Z? You like jalapenos? Oh, absolutely. A little spice never hurt anyone. that, man. Big jalapeno guy. Absolutely. Had a fair share amount of that. I think, I think we're good here. We got everything, everything. Yeah, more. actually, let me lower that a little bit. I lower it a little bit, it's perfect. Everything's but, well cooked. Yeah, we'll just make sure we'll, we'll leave it. I just lowered it to medium, because it got pretty hot. But yeah, this is pretty much done. Let's cook through, you can get that smell going. That seasoning the smells phenomenal. So pretty soon we're I don't know gonna, what you do with the seasoning. Yeah, see, see all that fat that forms oh up? Oh my God, it's beautiful. So, what are we doing? now depending on your expert level, you can use a colander or strainer to drain the fat. Me, I'm going to the sink with the pan. Quite slight turn, foolproof. But that fat is the flavor though, Z. You know what I mean? It's the flavor. I'm not gonna, I'm actually not gonna pour all of it out. Wow, that's sick. You know what? I actually know what? I think after I'm done competing, I think I'm going to go in the, in the cooking directions. Are you? Yeah, why not? Why not? All right. Yeah. Now watch, watch me work real quick. Spectate the master. You're watch head to head, Tony. It's no, just, but what, they're just coming in for the glory. No, but watch what I do next. I'm going to walk over here. Absolutely. You be very careful when you drain this, because obviously you don't want to, to lose any of that goodness, right? You don't want to lose any of that. So we're going to use the spatula here. And if we, if we lose a little bit, we lose a little bit. What can you do? A little do? bit of meat. But slight turn, look at that. You might want to get like We've that. lost no meat. So far. Hey, dude, don't, don't, we lost meat. Pause. Well, but that flavor though, at the bottom there, that's that flavor. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave a, little, a tiny bit in there. I'm gonna leave a tiny you bit in there. Keep that in there. And yeah, we'll leave a tiny bit in. And now we go in with the refried beans and a Absolutely. fourth cup of water. So Brandon, I mean, wow. get it in there. 
Refried greens? Yep, it's already open for you. Just throw that can so in like, there. Even with the can, even with the. No, no, no. Take the take, take the, lid. the lid off. I was gonna say. Take the lid off. How do you how do you take it off? Just. Oh, I don't have any nails. I got you. We can't hurt your hands. You're right. Actually. You just did. I, I, I might need to get the can opener in. You almost set this one in this year, Big Z. They needed you. I haven't played in a while. Only MLB. MLB. There we go. All right. One for good measure. Oh my God. Yeah, that's only the one can. I think we need to drain. That's only the one can of that. <laughs> can we Actually, no. <laughs> can we do all that? It's up to you. you I mean, you know what? Can it's not gonna it? be as much as you think. <laughs> there it is, the refried beans. Want to mix it in there, Z. Get the spatula going. The good thing about ground, ground beef is you you can't yeah, really- uh, The place burning down or burning down the place? Like you don't gotta worry about like overcooking ground beef. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the good thing about ground beef. It's like foolproof. Especially the 80-20 meat. You know what I mean? Get that fat in there. Exactly. Meat. Like, like the odds. The more lean meat, you know what I mean? You wanna watch out with that, guys. A one- You wanna watch out with A quarter cup of water. Meat, good. Cook it a little bit over. You know what I mean? Now we'll wait for the refried bean, beans to melt. At the same time- Oh yeah, one can is enough, for sure. The oven's already preheated. So Brandon, throw these in the oven. This is gonna go on for five minutes, so let's no check cheese? the time. No, not right now. So right now we're just toasting the chips first. Where's the Get oven? Get them right here. I got you. Is it at? Wait, is there like a? Just throw on the top right there. Other like, way. If I turn like it this that? way, yep. Yeah. Okay, but like, should we like? Be careful. I don't want to burn my hands. Yeah, you should be good. If you burn your hands here, I'd be appalled. <laughs> there you go. All right, five minutes. It's one fifty-six right now on here, so two hundred one will take those out. Really, the only actual like cooking part of this entire meal is what we're doing right now. Ground beef, seasoning, it, it's literally foolproof. Making a bit of a mess, but that's all right. That's why we clean. So yeah, we fried beans, looking good. Now, we're gonna remove the pan from the oven. We're gonna top with one half of the shredded cheese. We can use however much we want. Absolutely. Allow the heat from the chips to melt the cheese slightly before topping the chips with beef so that's and the, bean so that's mixture. The you, want it, you want it to melt on the bottom as soon as it makes contact and then re-melt. And so then we're like, gonna add the beef and beans on top, which is then gonna melt the cheese under it. We're gonna add more cheese, oh our topping, God. then throw it back in the oven. It's beautiful. Melt the entire top. It's like an avalanche. So it's like you want it to be covering all angles, you know what I mean? Exactly. We don't wanna just go top. Exactly. Bottom is, is missing that distribution. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's critical information. You like heat, right? Absolutely. That's why not. Let's get it so in there. So we're gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper. Just a little touch, you know what I mean? Don't go too crazy. You don't need, you don't need a crazy amount Just of cayenne, right? Pick, you know it's, what I mean? It's gonna, get that, it's gonna get that heat in there. Am I being trusted with this? You're trusted to add however much cheese you want on the first layer, but keep in mind we're gonna add more. So we're gonna do a layer of cheese, beef, beans, whatever. No, 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 no. On top of the nachos when they come out. All right, nachos. After five minutes at 350, are coming out. Let's get the cheese going here, Big Z. Yep. All right, Brandon, hear me out. Be careful, man. Always use oven mitt, towel. Now, you ready? I would say go with your hand. I wouldn't just pour out because like you don't want it to like clump up because you want it to like properly so we're melt. Get an even distribution going here. Exactly. Do your thing. But I kind of like an extra little bit of extra cheese. We're making a little bit of mess here. So it's fine. Extra, we're extra cheese is fine, but just try not to like. You just want to make sure each chip has like a good layer of cheese on it, you know? Be more aggressive, bigger handful. Like really bigger? Yeah. But yep. like, are, are we adding a little bit more? I think we're missing it. Like a little bit here, a little bit there, Big Z. Throw a little bit over there. You That's, know perfect. I mean? That's perfect. That's perfect, you're see, doing great. I, I see a gap here, the gap You're doing there. great. So now we're gonna Let's let this beef like a couple minutes. Let it just like melt that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna full on melt, right? It's not, the, the chips aren't that hot Absolutely. to actually do it themselves but it will melt it up, and then we're gonna add the beef and bean mixture on top, which is then gonna melt it even more. I think we're good to go, because I I think this meat and bean mixture Absolutely. is gonna do a great job I mean, of melting wow. some of this cheese. I'm starting to see and the then vision. We're gonna, trust me, man. The vision, it's starting to come together, you know what I mean? I, I'm trying to get an even distribution So do we add here. more cheese on top, you know oh, what I mean? Absolutely. come on. So that's why, okay. Come on, man. I was just testing, just testing your game. It's time for more cheese. Okay, got it. Your turn, Big Z. Let me see how you layer it, you know what I mean? Show, let me show you how I do this, man. Look at that. So you're just going in for it. Oh, man. I mean, it's the star of the show, right? It there, is. There, there are no nachos without cheese. Oh, that, see, that's, that's gonna be a great, a great little... Yeah, it's, and it's, it, might, it, might, it might get that crust, you know what I mean, in the oven, you know what I mean? That melted cheese, oh. I think, I think we're golden, now we're in the home stretch. Are these the garnishes at the end? Yep, so at the end we're, we're gonna Whatever you want, right? We can do half what you like, half what I like. You like pico, you like cilantro, you like jalapenos. 
I do like if you like them all, I like a little bit of cilantro. You know what I mean? We're gonna throw these back in for, it says five minutes. We'll play it by ear, right? We'll, we'll see how it's looking and, and what's going on. And now we wait. I Any questions so far? I think five minutes is fair. So far, you've learned a lot of good, I mean, you know how to open a can. Well, you know how to open a can, yeah. Do I tell you how to open a can now? Just yes, going sure. forward. You have the oven light on. Oh, look at that, man. Is it coming together? Just look at that. It's melting right in front of our eyes. It looks beautiful. Let's get this it. This is like TV. It is actually. It's right? like H HBO production, but it's ours. Can you see that gap right there? That like a little white X in the middle right, kind of? Yeah, I do. It's on this side. It's not melted yet. You know what I mean? That's it's on its way. But it's, it's, it's melting I quick. Wanna, I want to observe that till it melts. It's melting so. quick. We're in the home stretch. I'm thinking like two more minutes. We take them out, we top and we try them. <laughs> How do we think about this? I think that looks good. It's not ready yet. No? No. Want to give it the two more minutes? Yeah, like another minute. Because like, can you see like the mid part right? It's not yeah. really fully melted yet. We'll give it like a quick two more minutes. A few minutes later. Oh All my right. God, look at that. Here it oh is. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, come on now. Look at her. Look at that bad boy, that man. That looks unbelievable. We have some beautiful melted cheese, a beef and bean, refried bean mixture. We have beautiful toasted nachos. And now, why don't you just do your thing with this? I'm not really a pico guy, so like, okay, okay so you want to do a little bit? Too much of it, yeah. Okay, so, so okay. You, do, you do like your amount. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'm down for like a little bit of the cilantro. Okay. So you let me know how this looks. I don't think we overdo it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like maybe like that, that's like for me that's like well like obviously fill it like a little bit more like throughout, but I wouldn't like relayer it. You know what I mean? Exactly. No, I agree. Jalapenos, I do like a lot of jalapenos. I do like jalapenos, so like you could add a lot of that. You want a little more than that? How's that look? Well, like get some on middle? this side, you know what I mean? That's good, that's good, honestly. That looks good? To me, yeah, but if you want more, you just want so you, more. Just so you have it in a few bites. It's not gonna be too overpowering. I think we had cilantro at the end. But now jalapenos, I mean, like wow. I said. I'm a big jalapeno guy, I'm not gonna shine the jalapenos. I mean, wow. All right, how are we, how are we looking at jalapeno, do you think? Beautiful, I mean, go ahead. I think mean, we're I'm, good? I'm, I'm, I, it looks, I'm not gonna lie to you, I wanna, I wanna get into it, you know what I mean? I wanna, All right, we'll, active, add, we'll add a know? little more jalapeno, and then we're ready to eat. What kind of piece is that? Can we zoom in on that? Just so like, it's like a gem, you know what I mean? What do we think? Now that. That is the notches you'd have if with the boys over, you know what I mean? Maybe even then, you're having a date, I'm gonna you know let what I mean? the world know that should... Chef Tony and Chef Brandon are, what were you saying? I was just gonna say, you know, you have a date, you know what I mean? She's not gonna expect you to pull out this in your bag. You know what I'm saying? She's not. There you go. I mean, I'm thinking with the cilantro, we don't do too much. Add a tiny bit and like and like rip it up in your hands. Don't like drop rip it. Like, up. Yeah, like so pick up a little bit of cilantro. That's a good one, right? Actually, no, yeah, you, you're not gonna rip it up, never mind. It looked bigger than I thought it was. Just a little bit, you know. What she mean? said. <laughs> Gang. I'm good with that if you're good with that. Sure. Tiny bit of garnish, get it, get it in a few pieces. We're just trying to make it look like that we know what we're doing. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The most goaded nachos, excluding the sour cream. Just pretend that we put sour cream on top or on the side, whatever you prefer. Yeah, or as a dip, you know what I mean? And uh, let's eat. All right, Z. All right, I'm let's gonna, go. This let's piece eat. was calling my name inside. I'm going right here. I'm going, actually, yeah, right here. That's I wanna I get want. that meat, you know what I mean? Pause. I yeah, ball. Stack it a little bit. Get oh, that I'm cheese in there. Look at that piece right there. A little right bit there. of pico. I'm gonna add a jalapeno. You, you know what, I'm gonna add a jalapeno as well. Ready? Come on, go. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. We did well. That is unreal for how easy well. it is to make. We did well. Wow. <laughs> the, you, you can taste a bit of the cayenne, the spice coming out. Mm -hmm. Trust me, you want to make this. This Absolutely. has been Chef Tony with Chef Brandon. Thank you for watching.